So today, something pretty wild just dropped in the AI space. And no, it's not just another chatbot. It's a real agent that goes out there and actually gets things done for you online. Clicks, types, logs in, sends emails, books stuff, even places orders. It's called Runner H, and honestly, this might be one of the most useful AI tools to ever hit public beta. Before we get into what Runner H actually does, here's what just went live today. H Company officially launched three major products. First, they open sourced Holo One, their visual language model that hit a crazy 92.2% .2 task completion on the Web Voyager benchmark, and it only costs 13 cents per task. That's better performance at lower cost than many of the tools we've seen so far. They also rolled out something called Tester H, an AI made for testing. It turns simple language like user stories or product specs into fully executable visual end-to-end -end tests. No setup, no coding, just prompts in and complete test flows out. It's already in use by QA and dev teams and it's now in private beta. But the biggest thing that dropped today, that's Runner H. So here's the deal. Runner H is what happens when you take something like ChatGPT, bolt on serious action-taking capabilities, plug it into tools like Notion, Slack, Gmail, Zapier, Google Drive, and then set it loose on the internet. This isn't a model that just gives you suggestions or answers. Runner H moves. It clicks buttons, logs into sites, types out emails, downloads stuff, fills forms, sends things. You just give it a prompt and it gets to work. Let's say you want to apply for 100 jobs. You tell Runner H, apply to 100 jobs using my resume. And it actually goes out, browses job boards, fills out the applications, uploads your file, or say you need to rework a Google Doc and email it to a client. Runner H can handle that too. It can even go through your last 10 emails, pick the important ones, and draft replies directly inside your Gmail. And yeah, these are all real things people are doing with it right now. You give it the right access and permissions and it runs your tasks. They've even added a discovery section in the dashboard with sample prompts so you can try things out and get inspired. You'll find use cases like ordering groceries, booking an entire trip, filling spreadsheets with campaign data, or summarizing documents and pushing the results to Slack. In one of the walkthrough demos, the guy literally connects his Gmail, then says, send an email to Steph Curry at NBA.com telling him I'm a big fan and the agent just does it. It clicks through Gmail, bypasses the OAuth warning, sends the message, done. Speaking of Gmail, if you're connecting your Google MCP, that's your account credentials, it's really simple. Just head to the Connections tab inside Runner H, click Gmail, choose your account, and if you see a warning about authentication not being verified yet, click Advanced, then continue anyway. Once you confirm your Gmail's connected, then you're ready to start automating stuff like sending or replying to email. Let's test the agent with a real world task. Say I'm heading to London this week and I wanna plan out a full day, find three interesting events for Wednesday, something techy, artsy, or thought provoking. Pick a healthy restaurant near each event, add everything to my Google Calendar, and while we're at it, create a list of 10 cool places worth visiting during my stay. All right, let's see what it comes up with. First, the agent searches for events. It picks London Tech Week, an art exhibition at Tate Modern, and talks at South Bank. For each one, it finds a nearby restaurant with healthy options and blocks out time for both in my calendar. Each event and restaurant is scheduled as a time block, complete with links and map locations. Super clean, super fast. Next, it generates a Google Doc, a curated list of 10 places focused on AI exhibits, modern art, architecture, and chill cafes. Every spot includes a short description and a direct Google Maps link. Easy to explore, zero guesswork. I click one, boom, the calendar opens. Tap another, directions on maps, I'm good to go. So yeah, this is what it looks like when your AI assistant actually does the work. Not just ideas, not just links, but a full structured plan that's ready to use. 
I didn't Google anything. I didn't switch tabs. I just asked. This is what AI should feel like. So what's under the hood here? At the core of Runner H is a browsing agent, but not just any browser automation. This one's powered by a smart reasoning engine and a task orchestrator that delegates work across multiple sub-agents. It knows when to break things down, when to use which integration, and how to handle each site in real time. Runner H isn't crawling one page at a time either. It works across hundreds of websites at once, handling workflows in parallel, pulling live data, filling out forms, all with a single prompt. It's like having a fully autonomous virtual assistant working online while you focus on other things. And the tech that powers this is next level. The Hollow One model behind it is a 3 billion parameter visual language model. That means it can actually see web pages, it understands layouts, buttons, forms, menus, and it interacts with them intelligently. It's fast, accurate, lightweight, and now fully open sourced. They even released the Hollow One model and their 1,639 scenario web click data set on Hugging Face today. That's going to open the door for a lot of developers and companies to build even more automation around it. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking, is this just another version of the usual automation tools? Not exactly. Runner H is live right now. No wait list, no invite codes, no payment wall. You just go to runnerh.com and start delegating tasks to your AI. And here's the kicker. It's completely free to test right now, but only for a limited time. In just a few days, it'll switch over to a paid model. So if you're thinking of trying it, do it now while access is open and free. And this isn't just a research tool. Runner H is built for action. That's the biggest mindset shift here. You're not chatting with an AI for ideas anymore. You're assigning it work. Whether you're a creator, a founder, a busy professional, or just someone tired of doing repetitive online tasks, Runner H is basically your new digital assistant. One that works instantly, handles tedious work, and doesn't need sleep. Some content examples people are making already include things like 10 hours of work done in 10 minutes with Runner H, or Runner H wrote, formatted, and emailed my client update while I made coffee. The point is to focus on those real-life, action-based tasks. That's what sets Runner H apart from everything else. Also, if you're trying it out today, make sure you test the Surfer H agent. You can call it inside the prompt box, switch over to the browsing tabs, and it'll deliver better real-time results from across the web. And integrations like Notion, Slack, and Zapier are already super smooth now. You just connect and start using them inside Workflow. They also dropped a little reminder that if you're trying to connect Google integrations while OAuth is pending, just follow the safe override method. That workaround is what lets you use Gmail today while they finalize the full approval with Google. So yeah, today's launch is a big one. Runner H is already being called one of the first AI agents that truly feels like an operator, not just a tool. It doesn't give you more stuff to think about. It takes work off your plate. And that's where the real power is. This whole release is also part of a bigger rollout by H Company. They're not stopping with Runner H, Tester H, and Hollow One. They've got more agents coming, more capabilities, and deeper integrations already on the roadmap. And they just raised $220 million in fresh investment to fuel the expansion. The company is growing insanely fast right now and shows no signs of slowing down. If you've ever wondered what it'd be like to just offload your digital busy work, emails, form submissions, data entry, client updates, today's the day to try it. Runner H is live. No setup required. Just go to runnerh.com and delegate your first task. And if you do try it, let me know how it went. I want to hear what workflows you came up with, how far you pushed it, and whether it actually made your day easier. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.